Hi, welcome to chemmasters.online. Get registration on website chemmasters.online or get a mobile app from Google Play Stores that is chemmasters and uh, get registration on it to get more sample videos and join a course on CSIR net get chemistry JL DL set IIT chemistry if you are interested okay easiest concept with easy explanations so and with advanced chemistry so that is our strength right now we are discussing on asymmetric induction so in that now we are discussing on auxiliary controlled asymmetric synthesis in that the very important topic is asymmetric synthesis via using chiral axosolidinone okay right observe chiral axosolidinone can be synthesized from amino acids or nor epitrines okay right just observe if you have taken this amino acid and in that amino acid in the place of or if you use isopropyl okay if you have used the group isopropyl then it is valine and if we have benzyl group in the place of or it is phenyl alanine okay right this amino acid whenever react with bh3 and dimethyl sulfide the carboxylic group converts into alcohol okay and then further reacting with uh, in the presence of potassium carbonate and dihydryl ester then we can get chiral axosolidinone okay right so this is the step in which by rotating uh, that chiral carbon so we can get this one right now this chiral axosolidinone whenever reacts with a chiral substrate here that is we have taken acid chloride trithyl amine it abstract proton from that nitrogen of axosolidinone and formation of negative charge on it and that can attack and do this um, a chiral acid chloride okay right and further reacting with lithium diisopropyl amide it can abstract proton from alpha position of that carbonyl uh, substrate or intermediate and further just follow the arrows and there is a formation of enolate okay after formation of enolate you can observe there is a formation of six member ring with a lithium interactions onto uh, substrate oxygen and axosolidinone auxiliary oxygen okay you can observe that i just observe the same as in uh, proper arrangement in which you can see total molecular arrangement or total molecular atoms or on the plane and uh, so the branch which is on the axosolidinone is back side to the plane you can observe it right now there is a enolate and enolate has two phases top phase or bottom phase or front face or back face it is depends on your view on the plane of the molecule okay right and if the enolate if attacks on ethyl iodide from bottom phase okay if it attacks from the bottom phase what happens there will be the steric repulsions with that bulk uh, branch on the uh, chiral axosolidinone okay so that is not favored hence so there is other phases there that is top phase if top phase attack on ethyl iodide is takes place then that is favored one because there will be no steric repulsions on above the plane of the molecular arrangement with chiral axosolidinone on the sub given substrate okay so top phase attack is very favored on ethyl iodide so from that we can get another intermediate and reacting with uh, methyl methoxy lithium or lithium alcohol we can get final product in which the ethyl group gets a top phase or above the plane of that carbonyl ester so if we have taken methoxy lithium we can get a ester here if we have taken lithium alcohol we can get um, acid here 
okay so then the uh, further so that is uh, oxo chiral oxoledinone involves in further reaction okay so this is asymmetric synthesis by using chiral oxoledinone so the chiral carbon that means a branch can uh, due to the steric repulsions due to the steric factors we are differentiating an enantiomers and we, we are getting particular or desired an enantiomer in excess okay right now asymmetric synthesis of paroxetine using apolsus camper salt okay just observe this is the substrate and the substrate is reacting with camper salt so this is camper salt that is uh, 1s uh, 210 camper salt okay 1s 210 camper salt and uh, it whenever it reacts with sodium hydride sodium hydride is a strong base and it can abstract proton from this uh, nit uh, proton from the nitrogen of the camper saltum right and the negative charge can attack on the given substrate uh, substrate okay on to the carbonyl carbon then the cleavage of chlorine takes place from that substrate and we can get this intermediate okay and if you observe this intermediate on this intermediate we have if you have taken the molecule on the plane the only the bridged position the bridged group of the camper sultum taking place its position back side to the plane okay all the rest of the molecule is on the plane only the bridged uh, methylene group of the camper sultum is taking its position to the back side to the plane of the molecular arrangement okay right and after that uh, whenever reacting with grignard reagent just observe here grignard reagent and uh, the alpha beta and saturated position of the substrate has two phases because it is sp2 carbon so the one one is top phase or one is bottom phase or one is front phase or one is a uh, back phase based on our view okay right and if if we have considering here um, the attack of this grignard reagent onto the malic uh, plane of the sp2 carbon or alpha beta saturated substrate intermediate with the uh, camper sultum so the favored position is top phase attack okay because if you observe the top phase or on the plane of the malic plane of the intermi uh, intermediate there is no steric factors involving on the top phase because no group no group is uh, above the plane of the molecular arrangement but if we if the attack of grignard reagent from the bottom phase onto the double bond so there is the rise of steric repulsions because due to the presence of uh, the bridged group on the camper which is back side to the plane okay so the favored position to attack grignard reagent onto that uh, beta position on or onto the sp2 carbon is above the plane okay right and by that we can get another intermediate in which the grignard reagent group is taking top phase on the plane of the molecule so whenever it is getting top phase the side the other group gets back side to it because to escape from the steric repulsion from these two bulk groups okay and further uh, by uh, some steps we can get paroxetine okay right now asymmetric diels alder reaction so we know the the diels alder reaction which is very famous and uh, here the diene reacting with dienophile under thermal conditions so that is simply 4 and plus 2 concentrated mechanism through the 4 and plus 2 4 plus 2 concentrated uh, mechanism we can get the diels alder product okay right just observe another example and on which under thermal conditions we can get the final product if you observe the final product it has two chiral carbons okay it has two chiral carbons on it right now the important one is alder's endo rule okay important one is alder's endo rule just observe it whenever diene reacts with a dienophile with extra unsaturation okay then the endo is major product when we compared with exo okay in common 
without uh, having any uh, double that means extra and saturation on the dienophile the major product is always exo but whenever the dienophile having extra and saturation with this double bond okay then there will be uh, endo product is major one right now endo is major due to the additional secondary orbital interaction you can observe it in this example here uh, if you observe this one in which the double bond is attacked onto that dienophile carbons here and then the key to double bond or keto unsaturation is also having the possibility to make interactions with the double bonded uh, carbons on the diene okay so that leads to the uh, greater stability to the product hence the endo is major when we compared with exo so in exo only two interactions are possible because the other unsaturation which is present on the carbonyl group is away from the uh, diene dienic uh, carbons okay hence so there will be no interactions or secondary interactions on exo product hence when we compared with endo so endo having extra uh, orbital interactions that leads to more stability and that will be the major product okay so that is only possible whenever dienophile has extra unsaturation on it okay right and just observe some of the examples for uh, endo products so if we have alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde endo is major that is nearly 80 percent and if we have alpha beta unsaturated ester so the endo is nearly 73 percent and whenever we have alpha beta unsaturated nitrile the endo is 58 percent okay and uh, if we have alpha beta unsaturated nitrile with the branches then exo is major because here involvement of steric repulsions okay right now in the abo reaction the enantiomers are produced in one is to one ratios because all the starting materials are a chiral okay so that is not considered as asymmetric uh, synthesis or asymmetric reaction we have already discussed that uh, if the reaction produces unequal enantiomers or unequal diastereomers then only we consider that reaction as asymmetric induction or asymmetric synthesis okay right in this uh, in this example uh, in this um, uh, in the before in the next uh, in the slide which i have uh, already taken so that has in uh, deal solid reactions there will be no asymmetric uh, uh, there will be no uh, chiral starting materials hence it produces one is to one ratios of enantiomer and enantiomer so it is not considered as asymmetric reaction to be asymmetric reaction or to be asymmetric synthesis one of the starting material should be chiral okay one of the starting material should be chiral that may be substrate or that may be solvent or that may be catalyst or that may be uh, reagent okay thus one of the starting material must be chiral to produce unequal ratios of stereo uh, products okay right now just consider di whenever diene reacts with dienophile here this dienophile is having chiral group on it okay so this reaction this deal solder reaction produces unequal ratios of products okay and in this two we have get we have two uh, unequal products or endo products okay right let's consider diene reacting with a dienophile here under thermal conditions and axillary control diene a deal solder reaction because we have taken uh, in the place of r we have taken axillary okay that is oxazolidinone right and on the oxazolidinone we have the bulk group on that chiral carbon is back side to the plane of the molecule okay right and uh, if you observe the product so we have two endo products in which this is the major endo product when we compared with this one so just why here we have two endo products in this two endo products this is the major product when we compared with uh, this one why just check it okay right just observe the possible uh, reason why the first one is major when we compared with other another one so this is the endo interaction there is a possibility of 
two endo interactions of dienophile onto the diene just observe here in this example uh, on diene dienophile and interacts like this okay so whenever it is interacted diene, uh, diene like in this um, way it's a uh, here cg indicates chiral group okay so that is oxazolidinone and there is the formation of steric repulsions with this end of the diene to this chiral uh, group of the dienophile okay so that's why just observe and just make the bonds here and you can get uh, this as the product so there is a possibility of steric repulsions with this uh, double bonded carbons of the ring and the chiral group then it is less when we compared with another uh, steroid enantiomer just observe another way of uh, arrangement of the dienophile onto the diene in which uh, the chiral group is uh, near to the methylene group okay that means ch2 of the uh, cyclic diene here in the reaction this methylene of the diene goes above the plane okay so consider this is the plane of the diene uh, cyclic diene so the methyl group goes above the plane okay so then there will be no steric repulsions to this uh, chiral group to that methylene group of the uh, cyclic diene okay so that leads to the product just uh, give the make the bonds uh, to this and you can get this is the product so in which the connection of that uh, uh, chiral group or carbonyl group is to the backside carbon so whenever it is on to the backside carbon there will be no steric repulsions because the methylene of the diene goes above the plane so just observe here so that's why there will be no steric repulsions on here so that's why that is the major product when we compare with front side uh, group okay right thank you